On Saturday the 8th, we have our church council meeting. But on Sunday the 9th, we're going to do it again. We did it last year. We're going to do it this year. It's called Jersey Sunday. Wear the jersey of your favorite team, whether it be the New York Giants, the football team that plays in New York called the Giants, the four-time Super Bowl winners, But seriously, wear your jersey, your favorite team, because we are, it's a fun time for a football season, so we'll have that going on. So that's going to be on the ninth. And also, please remember, our charge conference is Sunday, November 18th at Clifton United Methodist. So a lot of committees have to get some work done. Let's get these done by the end of August, so we'll be ready to go and ready to show what we could do at Cedar Grove. Amen. Amen. And one more thing on Saturday, the 20th of October, our community yard sale and fish fry again from 9 to 3. And you'll have more information on that as we get closer. Amen. Now, let's go to the Lord in prayer. I know some of us have been dealing with some sickness. Um, Cliff is still in the hospital right now. He'd be hopefully be released today, amen. Um, he had what I had last year, walking pneumonia. And it's no joke. It can really just mess you up. People have died from that. But he's at the good hospital and they're taking care of him. And they kept him there overnight, amen. So we have some sicknesses we're dealing with. I know some folks are dealing with job issues. There's a lot of different things going on. But this is the time that we can go to the Lord in prayer. That we could ask the Father what we need, give thanks to the Father, and just have a conversation as a church family. So if you want the altars open, you can come if you like. You can stay in your seat, that's fine also. You can grab somebody's hand, but let us go to the Lord in prayer. As Pastor mentioned, um, um, Brother Cliff, I did talk to him this morning, and he's looking forward to uh, hopefully getting out today. See, he's feeling well, and he's, he's hoping he's, he get out of, out of the hospital this morning. We do know that we have um, a full prayer list, um, and, and it's not, you know, it's not getting smaller. You know, and so we need to uh, keep keep those who are on our prayer list. We need to keep them in our in our prayers. Lord, you have been our help, generation after generation, before the mountains were born. Before you birthed the earth and the inhabitants of the world, from forever in the past to forever in the future, you are God. Dear Lord, we come to you this morning on bending knees. to praise you, dear Lord, and to give you thanks. For we know that there is only one God, and that God is you. Lord, we lift our arms up to you, and we just thank you, Father, for all you have done for us throughout this week. There have been good times, there have been fun times, dear Lord, and sometimes there have been sad times. 
We thank you, dear Lord, that you were there no matter what times we were going through. Father, we ask for your forgiveness, dear Lord, for we know we, we have not always had the faith, dear Lord. Sometimes we turn to friends and family. Sometimes we turn to others, dear Lord. When we found no help in them, dear Lord, we, we can only come to you. Lord, for you are the one who can help us in our times of need, O oh Lord. You are the one who gives us strength to make it through each day. You are the one who loves us despite, dear Lord, of who we are. And Father, we thank you so much for just loving your children. Dear Lord, we, as we think about the world today, dear Lord, we think about knowing that this is um, the one year anniversary of um, Charlottesville. Well, so many came, dear Lord, to celebrate, and yet so many came to disturb that celebration, Father. And we, we pray, dear Lord, that love will conquer hate. We know, dear Lord, that a good defense is, is, is better than a good offense. So, dear Lord, we, we ask that you place that armor on us, oh Lord, so that we are able to show love to our brothers. That we're able to give our testimony, oh Lord. For we know in giving our testimony, dear Lord, it's, it's our way of showing love. Love to our brothers and sisters, oh Lord. Father, we pray for the world and we pray, dear Lord, for this church at Cedar Grove. We pray that you will continue to, to be with our leader here. That you will guide and direct him. That you will guide and direct us, oh Lord. That we may do, dear Lord, what you would have us to do in this church and in this community. Father, we come to you and we just give you the thanks and the glory and the, and the praise, oh Lord. And we just, just can't say thanks enough, Lord, because you are God. And Father, now, as a church, as we recite this prayer together, dear Lord, we want to always know, dear Lord, that the things that you offer us, the things that you give us, dear Lord, we are so grateful for. And as we come to you together in the Lord's prayer, dear Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you for all that you do, dear Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 And we do have children's church, so all the children, they're going to have their own church right now, so they are dismissed to children's church. Amen.
Our scripture this morning is found in the book of Psalm. It's Psalm 63, verses 1 to 8. Psalm 63, 1 to 8. In your pew Bible, it is found on page 445. That's Psalm 63, 1 to 8. And I'll be reading from the CEB. If you find it, say amen. If you're still looking, praise the Lord. Let's begin with the reading of his word. God, my God, it's you. I search for you. My whole being thirsts for you. My body desires you in a dry and tired land, no water anywhere. Yes, I've seen you in the sanctuary. I've seen your power and glory. My lips praise you because your faithful love is better than life itself. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. I'm fully satisfied as with a rich dinner. My mouth speaks praise with joy on my lips. Whenever I ponder you on my bed, whenever I meditate on you in the middle of the night, because you've been a help to me, and I shout for joy in the protection of your wings. May my whole being clings to you. Your strong hand upholds me. This, my brother and sister, is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. your worry replace your worship. I said amen to that. That was powerful, wasn't it? Don't let your worry replace your worship. Or let your worship replace your worry. Amen. Amen. That's why we come to this place. So we can be connected. Thank God for that.
Amen. Amen.